Hi, thanks for watching my video blog, Terry Talk. I'm Terry. Um, today I am going to show you how to throw a cool party in your home. I know that throwing a party can be a bit overwhelming, so let me help you make it easier. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably have a deep obsession with a man named Greg who is a coworker of yours, but that is why you've invited everybody at the office, including Greg, who said maybe on the evite. Now let's throw a party. Step one, set up your party. Put out some delicious snacks like fruit, veggies, cheese, or any of your own snack specialties. Whip up a nice punch recipe. Alcohol optional. Maybe pick a fun theme for your party and decorate appropriately. Make sure your space is party ready and put on your favorite vest. After all, this might be the night you finally get to have a full live conversation with Greg and not just that fantasy conversation about how Greg grew up in Colfax, Wisconsin until he was 15 when his family moved to Madison and he joined the basketball team and where he later made the decision to attend the University of Wisconsin at Madison even though he was being offered more money to play basketball at the University of Wisconsin at Parkside. Madison had a better business school. Step two, cue the music and relax. Your guests should be arriving any minute. Make sure the lighting is pleasant, get yourself in the mood, and go ahead and enjoy a glass of punch. Feel so freaky. Ah, feel so freaky. If your guests still haven't arrived, don't worry, they're probably on their way. They might just need a reminder text. Use at least five question marks for extra emphasis. You'll go crazy if you can't see Greg's face until Monday morning at 11.05 during his daily trip to the vending machine. Step three, welcome your guests. Finally, before you direct them to the snacks and punch, be polite and ask if they had any trouble getting to your house. And if they have, if they have spoken to Greg this evening? Step four, get wild. Now that all of your guests who are not Greg have arrived, it's time to get down. This is a party, and there's nothing wrong with letting it loose a little. If you're having fun, your guests will have fun, and maybe the pain will stop. Be okay with a little bit of a mess, and keep the tunes pumping. And uh-oh, guests might get a little frisky. Step five, find out why Greg didn't come. Your guests don't know, so kick everyone out. Then go to Greg's house. Bring some punch. Is, is Greg home? Find out by looking in his bedroom window. If you see that he's sleeping, watch him do that. And go through his trash! Step six, confront Greg. Where was he? Oh, just ask him for crying out loud. Be sure to emphasize the question by telling him your true feelings. And give him the gifts you got him. We danced, we laughed, and we finally had a real life two-way conversation with Greg. Now that's what I call a party.